Hi there guys, uh, starting off with saying welcome to my channel. Um, I've just received a box which um, it's a Sky motor and this one is the uh, GA4000.7. Now it represents a 40cc. The reason why I've brought this uh, is to replace this. This is wrapped up ready to go back to Pro Build. And it is a XPWR35CC. As you can see, all the wires are melted. And that happened in flight and look further um the motor is actually quite tight because the winding is burnt out inside um so that only leads me to one issue which is um the winding the quality of the winding is not 100% there as you can probably see I'm just going to try and get a little pointer um, whatever I can find okay well this is a little bit longer than I wanted to use um, you can see this winding here in this groove okay in there in that winding it's all black in that groove as you can see can you see and some of the windings are okay as I'm moving it around you can see but that particular one is and the one next to it is gone black because the coating of the wire has melted and it's caused the whole thing to short which in result of these wire are burnt so in flight, I was flying along, happily merry after, and I saw a trail of smoke came out. Uh, last time I saw a trail of smoke come out of one of my aircraft was the ESC caught fire. Um, but this time it's the motor. Lucky enough, I emergency landed the uh, my extra 330 LX uh, wasn't much damage um, and I inspected a motor and this is the outcome of it so the damage it had done was this uh, side force generator what I have done to repair it is to put a carbon fiber plate at the back I stripped it at the back because it uh, basically snapped in half I stripped it at the back and put a carbon fiber plate over it so it becomes like this you can see there's the carbon and all I've got to do is basically put um, some uh, solar film across here and then down here and then trim it off in yellow and it will be as good as new and you wouldn't see that and it will be double the strength and you will not be able to bend it or break it uh, beauty of carbon um so guys i've received this um as you can see it is a ga 4000.7 they do a 4000.6 if you are choose to use a Juice sky 40 cc uh be very careful which one you choose the 4000.6 or the 4000.7 do your own research but the 4007 I can swing a uh, 22 by 10 prop uh, where the 4000.6 I can only go to something like a 21 inch prop um, so I'm giving the the, the lower torque um, lower KV rather to uh, swing a bigger prop um, the KV on this is uh, 100 and 
80 if I'm right. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, if it's 180 kV, you can see, just here, so it's 180. Um, prop size is all at the bottom, and it allowed me to swing a 2210, and that's the um, GA4000.7. As I say, the 4000.6 um, allows you to swing a... Uh, 21 by 12 um, Sorry 21 by 10. I'm gonna open this box see what's inside and how it's packed. It's not been opened um, It should be a nice motor because I've had Juice Sky motors before um, let's, see what it, let's see what you get Okay Firstly you get a Juice Guy sticker, and you get your destruction manual. I never read these anyway, I always go on the net and find out. Um, and it's in Chinese, so I can't read it. Ironically enough, I can't read it. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. There we are. Wonder whether you guys can make any sense of the Chinese writing, because I certainly can't, ironically enough. Okay, back to this box. Uh, nice and neat, neatly packed. Ah, looks neat. You get what you do get. It's all nice. I'm beginning to like this already without even looking at it. So this is the 40cc and this is the 30cc. As you can see the drum size, the 30cc is slightly deeper and the drum size on the 40cc is slightly larger in diameter. Obviously your mounting holes are different so I've got to re-drill the mounting holes on aircraft to fit this 40cc in. Um, the only thing I'm not quite sure of, um, although, although the wire on the Dew Sky is heavier duty than the XT, uh, XPWR wires. So these wires are slightly heavier duty, thicker to start with. And let's have a look at what connectors it gives you. Uh, I think these are rather, no, these only look like three mil connectors. So straight away, they've got to be changed to f uh, fit my uh, um, ESC. Um, it's got to change to something like a five mil. Um, so you get a lock nut, which is the first one. And normal nut and a prop washer um, the only thing I'm quite not sure of is the prop drive just there and the shaft it's aluminium so it's prone to bend easily and looking at this from face on you can't see the uh, back plate lug sticking out so what I will have to do is to take these Allen, key, Allen key screws out, all four of these, and then lift the plate up, mount the plate, rear plate, onto the air, uh, onto the bulkhead, and then fit the motor back onto the rear plate, and then tighten these uh, Allen, Allen key bolts back in. That's the only way you can mount this. Otherwise, you, when you try to drill it, it's going to mark the motor and damage the motor. Um, that's what it is. I weighed the motor. The motor is seven. No, the motor is slightly heavier. So it's 834 grams. 
as it is, 834 grams. Although it says, although on the box says the weight is 700 grams. I don't know how that works, but I have weighed it on my scale is 834 grams. So unless they don't count the, uh, the, the prop wash, uh, the prop washer and the nuts and the wire. So there we go, guys. Um, that's that. And also you get, I don't know whether you guys can see it here, these little standoffs. Um, nice and neat. Um, I can't use the original standoff uh, from my plane and just put the motor on purely because um, the bolt is a lot narrower. Um, the other standoff I'm using is got a uh, 5M bolts, so it's a lot thicker. So I uh, need to change um, because these aren't 5M holes. So I need to, I do need to change unless I enlarge the holes. But uh, yeah, unless I enlarge the holes. But I think what I will do is just use these standoff. Um, it's slightly too short, but I'll shim it out. I'll space it out. I've got some spacers, so that's not uh, not really an issue. Um, see what else is in the box. Normally, with Juice Guide, they give you a little tool, a little like a spanner that it will tighten the uh, nuts and it and it will grip the whole thing from you know there grip the whole thing on there so it stops the whole thing from spinning but I can't seem to see the spanner here unless unless it's in here somewhere ah something is in here rattling away ah haha connectors so that's nice and nice and handy oh Brilliant! Didn't expect this. Really didn't expect this. Now then. Spacers to go onto the standoff, like so. Uh, and that way it'll push the motor out forward. Well, that's handy, that's really good. And you don't only just get one pack, you get two packs. Uh, so that's good. Happy days. And that's one compartment of that box. So I, something else is in this box. So I take it, it will be a spanner. If I'm right. Yay! As I guessed. It is a spanner. There you go. That bit hooks onto the motor, stop it from spinning. And that bit goes on the nut um, just in case you guys haven't got a clue what I'm waffling about I'm just going to just uh, open this uh, up show you how the actual spanner takes to work um, There you go. A lot of people wonder what this uh, this bit is for. You basically hook it onto there, like that. Stops the motor from spinning while you're tightening the nuts. Okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And back in the box. And this is going in the Pilot RC Extra 330LX, uh, 78 inch. Um, gonna give that a try. Um, and meanwhile, back at the ranch, this is ready to go back to Pro Build. I have rung them, I spoke to Andrew, uh, he's more than helpful. And he says, um, 
because the motor's only done like three flights, um, which in my eyes, um, quality wise, I think the wires wasn't um, sufficient enough, um, you know, on the winding, um, the plastic coating wasn't protecting enough and it's got hot and it's kind of like melted itself. So I'm just going to um, sort this out and send it back to Pro Build. And they they have actually told me that it's under warranty, and they're going to um, inspect it and see what they can do. Hopefully, um, I will get another one back. But meanwhile, I'll use the uh, forty cc and try and see. Um, what difference does it make with the 40cc and the 30cc? Um, it should make a vast amount of difference. Um, the only thing is I'm not increasing the uh, milliamp on a battery, um, on a LiPo. Um, I'm still going to be using a 4000 milliamp LiPo. So my flight time will probably be cut down by about a minute and a half. Um, I can live with that. Um, you know, I've uh, just got to be um, very, uh, I don't know, um, usable with the uh, throttle stick to try and uh, not waste uh, my uh, battery power. Or, or failing that, I'll have to switch to a 5,000 milliamp pack, which I don't want to because it just adds extra weight. Um, at the moment, the uh, 4,000 milliamp pack uh, on a 35cc, it's getting me around six minutes. Um, if I fly it steadily and not too aggressive, then it's six and a half minutes. But if I have my aggressive head on with 3D, then probably about five minutes and it's ready to come in. But five minutes of 3D aggressively, um, it's more than enough flight time to get your adrenaline going. So there we go, guys. Um, and that's the um, GA 4007, uh, 4000.7 rather, 40cc replica. So um, I will give you the update on how that motor is playing in the um, extra 330LX. I will give you guys the update and then uh, the decision whether it's worth swapping it around uh, to a 40cc or it's best to stay with a 35cc. Um, so again, thanks for your time guys of watching my uh, channel and supporting me all the way along and appreciate you guys, uh, you know, got my back and without you guys um, being there, I will not have this channel existed. So again, thank you very much. And if you like what I do, please give the thumbs up and subscribe for future videos and you will get notified notification on future videos uh, sometimes they're good sometimes they're not so good sometimes even i think of them are not so good so there we go it's um each to their own thank you very much guys and have a fab weekend and fly safe good night then guys